got to adjust them all the time. That's all. Oh, all the old men. Do it! Let's go up and take a look at this. I'm going to show you guys what I just seen. That was great. I can feel it. That's how we roll. All you need is a little encouragement. Liquid curve. Yeah. Hey, got bearings back here, dude. Your spiders are back here. Hey, Bozeman. Wow. Pick up your pieces. Man. Hey, Bozeman. Your spider gears are back here. <laughs> <laughs> they say parts is parts. You better pick them up. <laughs> necklace out of them have some bling bling. <laughs> That'd be redneck bling bling, right? <laughs>
the chance to win. It's up to you guys, whoever wants to do it. Once we have the trucks lined up, we'll do a little meeting over there right before that race is done. So we'll talk. Uh, anyone else? Yeah. All right, man. And then I'll use the shirt for any of the other drivers. Hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Matt from Trucks Gone Wild, and I just want to thank you guys for coming out here and being a part of this. That's what we were doing out here last year. I met Kevin up at Yankee Lakes and started talking about this. This has really been in the works for the better part of a year. Yeah, probably much a year. Yeah, and it's cool, man. We appreciate. You guys coming out, the variety, everything is awesome. We love it. We love being in upstate New York. We trust a lot of us done anything in New York. So it's pretty cool that this is the first time and, and you guys are all a part of that. Uh, a lot of guys asking when this is going to be on the, the videos or whatever. You know, we're looking at late October for the next release. And uh, I mean, I can't say in concrete that this is going to be on that, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, it looks like it. So I pretty much have locked into it now since I said that to you guys. <laughs>
Awesome. Yeah. Still running. Play it hanging around underneath the old oak tree. <laughs> They're waiting to tie a yellow ribbon around it. <laughs> oh, I was just pissing with you, Clay. <laughs> so they wound up taking the bulldozer up on dry ground. Ran it across. And they tried to tip it back over. Dude, don't, I wouldn't stand there. What happens if it rolls back, something breaks? All those guys don't need to be standing around that. That fucking thing. You know your point, though. I would hate to see it fall over on somebody.
Oh!